Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelisera. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a warfare message. Hallelujah. <clears throat> you have to build the encouragement, you know, to fight for what is yours. Yes. <clears throat> if you are that person, whenever you have something, <laughs> the enemy always call to look for a way to take it. God had me to tell somebody, says, fight for it. Don't give it up. Yes, don't give it up. Whatever it is yours, whatever that it is yours, and you see that the enemy is not happy with that thing, fight for it. Fight in holding on through the word of God for that thing. Especially if the Lord has given you a gift. The Bible says they will come against you in many ways. They will come like a flood. Why are they coming against us like a flood? Because there is something that you have that they want to sweep away. There is something that you have that they want to capture. There is something that you have that they are fighting for. I keep telling us that the devil does not fight an empty destiny. You must fight back. The Bible says they will come against us like a flood. But the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard for you to be able to fight back, child of God. You must allow the Holy Spirit to be activated in you. Activated in you. Because it is the Spirit of the Lord in you that will be able to raise the standard. You know, when uh, Elijah was confronted with those army, he said, let the earth open. Let this happen. Let that happen. You understand? He was speaking out of faith because out, out of faith. He knows that he knows the God I serve. He knows that the Spirit of God is with him. He knows that those that were with him were more than those that were against him. You need to understand. Don't give up on whatever God has given to you. You need to understand that they will definitely come for it. If God gave you a, a beautiful marriage, don't expect the enemy to just sit down and be watching your marriage blossom. No. Because God honor marriages, he honor family. If God give you a beautiful family, beautiful children, beautiful job, don't expect the devil to just sit down and be saying, ah, beautiful children. Hello, congratulations. They see it is beautiful. They see that it pleases God. They see that he, 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 he exalt the name of the Lord. They will look for a way on how they will break it. That is why you must stand your ground and say these beautiful things that the Lord has given to me, they will not be sweep away. I tell myself sometimes nothing good will die in my hands. I tell myself sometimes, I say, well, nothing good will die in my hands. So I carry my hands and I will touch my children. So nothing good will die in my hand. You understand? Because I understand the strategies of the enemy. They come for the things that make you happy. They come for the things that you treasure. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Whatsoever God has given you, even outside of the earthly possession, <clears throat> whatever God has given you as a Christian, in the aspect of our spiritual life, fight to keep it. It is very important. You are given a prophetic gift. Keep it. You are given the gift to speak in tongues. Keep it. You are given the gift to read and understand the word. Keep it. You are, you are given the gift of faith, hope. Whatever faith you are given. The apostolic faith. Whatever gift that you have. Fight for it because if you are given the gift of a prophet, many will come against it. They will call it a fake. So when you now start doubting yourself, oh, maybe it's really fake, then you are losing it. If God give you the gift of speaking in tongues and you are praying in the Holy Ghost and someone is telling you, ah, who is interpreting it? Because they want you to, they want that gift. There are different kinds of tongues that God has blessed us with. But people quickly go to that contest 
where the Bible says there is no one to interpret that we should keep quiet. They can't, they did not, you, the people that say this, they don't even read their verse. What lead to that particular aspect where that statement was made? Tongues have been in existence before that particular place in the Bible. There are different kinds of tongues. You understand? So they will come for you. They want your, your, your tongue. That speaking in tongues, they want to kill it. You are preaching the Bible. Fight for that gift. Hold it. Because they will come and tell you that, ah, today you are just preaching how I will get a job. Preach salvation. So tomorrow you are preaching salvation. They will come and tell you, I'm already saved. Preach something else. You are preaching something and they are telling you, ah, why did you not preach about money today? Preach money, I need money. And you are preaching about money. They say, I don't preach about money. We don't need money as children of God. You will be confused. If you want to follow the attack on what God has given to you. So there is a responsibility for you to hold on to whatever God has blessed you with. You have that responsibility to say, no, Satan, no. Satan, no, not today. You cannot make me go crazy. I will give the message God wants me to give. If God says, I'll give, pray about fruitfulness today. Yes, I'll pray about it. If God give me the wisdom and say, okay, pray about salvation today, I'll pray about it. If you say, pray, don't allow people to deter for you how you should serve God when you know you are already serving God right. The only way you can give ear to these things is when you are being corrected and you know, okay, you observe it. And you know, even when you are making a mistake in your calling, if God is the one that really calls you, he will correct you. There is a way God will trouble your mind and say, my daughter, no, my son, no, this one, no, that one, no. There is a way God will communicate it to your spirit and you will see yourself making a man. It is not people condemning you. You understand? They are coming against what God has given to you as a flood. Fight back. Fight back. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Hallelujah. Even if it's in the earthly side of it, you have beautiful cars, you have home, you have beautiful things, your heads and all of that. Fight for it. Are you sick and the enemy is trying to destroy your head? Fight for your head. Pray until something change in your body. Pray until God take over that body. Pray until that sickness surrender. As you are taking whatever medication you are taking, pray on them. Pray on them. Let the medication turn to the blood. Let it turn to the body of Christ. Pray on them. Go on and take Holy Communion. Carry it and use it and say, well, this is the blood. This is the body. Through this are made whole. Fight for what belongs to you. Hallelujah. They come against us as fraud, as fraud. We must keep the spirit of the Lord activated in us. So that the spirit of the Lord in us. Will raise the standard. The courage. The faith. The hope. The word of God. Our stand in, the, in his word. Will raise the standard against them. It is well with you Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. <clears throat> and may your sister evangelist. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.